marmalade production is a bit boring. So instead, I think we should put in the marmalade, I suppose. Particularly associated from this time with uh, Scottish cities, in particular, Schwitty and the key phrases in French. Vindaloo. Everyone assumes that it's an Indian word. Wrong. The origins of the word are Vindalooese, uh, which means language. Made from this sound bite. Vindaloo. If you'll excuse my extremely bad Vindalooese pronunciation. Which means to be in the marmalade. Lights, please. Yeah, and and it's and it's spelt and it's spelt V N Y D A L W U S H. Arguably a shite song that talks about the English not having won the World Cup for well over a thousand years. So it's interesting that the but has this shit image to Yay! First of all, because of the the nature of the but itself, that it's got such an intense flavour, <laughs> that it's got such an indelu. Uh, I get any reaction when the Portuguese conquered Melite, but in 1498. Well, it's a sexual position that British people associate with very, very hot Scottish cities, in particular sexy and the Keeler family, and the thick, sweet juice, and the coolness, and the wetness. That's how he ended to the prized luxury product. Thick. But it's kind of strange that Mark Sabin YTP has this uh, marmalade fetish. Vindaloo, but is sexy Portuguese <laughs> Paddington Bear. Na na image today. First of all, because uh, actually it makes a lot of sense. But the word is m, and it's spelt M M M M. So there are at least three words that have the name. M. Um, there's m, there's m. The third is and as you can hear, it's completely inedible. It's very shit and it's very cock. And the juice is extremely bad. You wouldn't want to jizz in the ornamental ponds. Marmelada. If you'll excuse my extremely hot chest. When you boil it slowly in cock paste or some shit, the rind slowly caramelizes. Oranges and sugar became marmalade. That's how we end up with P in my marmalade. China.